So welcome back to another episode of C programming tutorial. In today's episode we are going to learn about how to using a continuous statement in a C program. By using a continuous statement you can easily uh, bypass to the beginning of a loop by skipping some statement or a set of statement on that particular loop. Here I put an example here. This while loop contain a continuous statement. So here is the condition of the while loop. This is statement 1. And a continuous statement is always associated with some if loop. So here an if loop is present. If the condition is found to be a true one, then the continuous statement will execute. That means whenever a continuous statement reached, the execution flow of the program is not going to the next statement in that loop. That means the execution flow just uh, bypass to the beginning of the loop. That means this, the statement 2 is skipped from execution. That is the use of a continuous statement in C programming. So uh, you can get more idea about how to use continuous statement from the following example. Here I am going to create an example that contain uh, that demonstrate how to use a continuous statement in C program. So here I declare two variables i and j and start a for loop provide a value for i i equal to 1 put a condition here i less than or equal to 2 and increment the value of i now i put an inner for loop here initialize the value of j from 1 Again put the same condition, j less than or equal to 2, j plus plus. Okay. So here, I check a condition if the value of i is same as value of j. Then put the continuous statement. After the continuous statement, I put a print of statement. Print of slash and percentage d percentage d comma provide that variable name i comma j. Okay, this is a simple example that demonstrate how to use a continuous statement in C programming. So when, when you run the program you got the output like this. First you got the number 12 and you got the number 21. This must be this the, this uh, this is the expected output from the program. So we can check it. Just compile it before I how to save it. I save the program. Uh, compile it. Compilation success. Uh, now run it run the program so we got the output 12 and 21 now we can check how we got the output using the continuous statement okay so here the value of i is first 1 okay, here the value of i become 1 first so here it will check the condition 1 less than 2 now enter into the inner loop now check the now initialize the value of j with 1 and check the condition j less than or equal to 2 that means here the condition become 1 less than or equal to 2 so it enter into the body of the inner loop here it will check this if loop the value of i is now 1 and value of j is 1 that means this if loop return true so the continuous statement will will execute that means this print of statement is not going to execute so the continuous statement is now executed so the execution flow uh, bypass to the beginning of the loop that means it come to j plus plus that means the pr on the first execution cycle of the inner loop the print of is skipped from execution so now j plus plus means value of j become 2 now it will check the condition 2 less than or equal to 2 that is true so again come to the if loop now the value of i is 1 and value of j is 2 that means now if loop is not true so 
now the continue is skipped from execution so now the print of statement will execute and it will print the value of i now the value of i is 1 and value of j is 2 so we got the first number in a new line 12 now again come to j plus plus j become 3 and check the condition 3 less than or equal to 2 is a false one so the inner loop will exit and now come to i plus plus now the value of i become 2 again check the condition 2 less than or equal to 2 is a true one again enter into the inner loop again start the value of j from 1 check the condition 1 less than or equal to 2 is true now come to the if loop the value of i become 2 now and value of j become 1 now that means now if return false so the continue is skipped from execution now come to the print of and print the value of i and j now the value of i is 2 and value of j is 1 so now we got the first second number 21 in underline now come to uh, j plus plus that means value of j become 2 and value of i become 2 now come to if that means i and j are equal so if loop return true so again continue will execute that means now print of skipped from execution so now uh, bypass the execution flow to the beginning of the loop and now j become 3 so the inner loop will exit and increment value of i by 1 so now value of i is 3 it again the outer loop also return the condition on the outer loop also return false so the entire for loop will exit and the program is finally exited that is how uh, that is how we using a continuous statement in C programming. I hope you enjoy this video. Please try this by yourself and uh, try to implement the continuous statement in more examples. Thank you for watching. See you in the next part.